So we play a crucial role in the overall healthcare of patients and understanding the unique needs of individuals with asthma is absolutely essential to providing comprehensive and safe holistic care to our patients. So asthma is a chronic respiratory condition and it's important that you have an understanding of this. It's characterised by inflammation of the airways and that inflammation of the airways then leads to the symptoms that patients present with such as wheezing, shortness of breath and chest tightness and sometimes coughing as well. So the underlying pathology involves a hyperactive response of the airways and this hyperactive response of the airways is due to a variety of different stimuli and that then results in the symptoms I've just described due to bronchoconstriction and increased mucus production. So there are three key aspects really to remember with regards to asthma and the pathophysiology. So the bronchial muscle contraction, the mucosal swelling and inflammation and the increase in mucus production. One of the key considerations when treating patients with asthma to be aware of is the potential impact of the disease and its management on the oral cavity. So as dental healthcare professionals, you need to have an appreciation of this and how it may affect your clinical management of patients, but also what kind of conditions that you might see that asthmatics have. Now the medications we'll cover in a different video, but the ones that are commonly prescribed for asthma are inhaled corticosteroids and bronchodilators. And it's these inhaled drugs that might have oral side effects. So for example, the inhaled corticosteroids can cause an increase in the risk of oral candidiasis due to the immunosuppressive effects of the drugs. So it's really important that you are vigilant of signs of oral candidiasis. So look out for things like white patches of the tongue, white patches on the mucous membranes, and be able to educate your patients on proper oral hygiene with regards to these drugs. So once they've used them, ideally they should rinse out. Also the chronic nature of asthma and the treatment of that chronic condition might contribute to a higher incidence of dental caries. So patients might get increased periodontal disease as well. And these patients you need to be very cautious with and manage them appropriately. They also often get dry mouth or xerostomia, both because of the disease, but also of the medications and the reduction in saliva flow. And all of that combined obviously will then increase the risk of dental decay. So the importance of good oral hygiene including regular dental visits is absolutely vital to these patients and that needs to be emphasised to them. So a thorough clinical examination and a thorough medical history with these patients will then allow you to inquire about their asthma and it's important that you have an understanding of their asthma action plan and what brings on acute attacks and how they manage acute attacks. What current medications are they taking and this might be inhaled steroids and it might be oral steroids but also what happens in an acute episode. How do they maintain their asthma control? How well is their asthma controlled? So key questions, how long um, have you had asthma? Do you get admitted to hospital if you has, have an asthma attack? What brings the attack on? What makes it better? What's your exercise tolerance like? If you have a reliever inhaler, how often do you use it? When do you need it? So having a clear communication plan with the patient and if necessary their healthcare provider is essential and it's essential for that coordinated care. So they will often have a specialist asthma nurse that manages them. In terms of acute management, you need to be able to manage patients having an acute asthma attack and according to the GDC guidelines and the Resource Council guidelines, you need to have an awareness of that. Quite often stress and anxiety can precipitate attacks, so going to the dentist might precipitate or trigger an asthma attack. So it's really important that you have a calm and supportive environment for these patients if they do start to develop an asthma attack. The chronic long-term management of asthma is something you need to be aware of as well and the medications that they may be on to prevent their symptoms and prevent exacerbation of the disease. So overall, in summary, you need to be well informed about the key aspects of asthma, key considerations to, to think about when you're managing these patients have an awareness of how to manage the acute attack and the chronic condition of asthma and how that will affect the oral cavity and how it will affect your management of these patients. So being aware of the potential oral health implications of the disease and its treatment and being prepared to manage both acute and chronic exacerbations is really important as their dental healthcare professional. By incorporating these considerations into your clinical practice, 
then you will be able to manage your patients safely, appropriately, and contribute to the overall well-being of patients with asthma and provide high quality personalized care. In another video, I'm going to talk about the different medications that asthmatics take and the awareness that you need to have of that staged approach of, of management. Thank you.